Voila, you now have a time machine. Because believe me, you will not remember the next three hours. You see, normally you breathe smoke into your lungs, but a gravity bong forces smoke into your lungs. Think of it like partying with Lizzo. It sounds like fun until you wake up eating a banana from a cooter. One <laughs> you got here. Number three is <laughs> So she kept me on the counter. So I banging on the sofa. And I was feeling it louder. And then it was over. And I thought I'm going to it up. And I thought I'm going to it up. I feel like this video would fit right now since since me since me and you know since me since me and we also be kind of geeked up right now so I feel like this might be a, be a good video for us it might be a good video for us you know Drugs are a poor man's vacation. If you can't afford to visit Disney, then getting goofy is the next best thing. <laughs> if you're a struggling college student, you don't always have the luxury of taking hits from a volcano. So here are the seven dumbest ways I've gotten high. Number one, Bible paper. My pastor is always telling bro, me- Bro, 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 bro. You ain't the only one. I remember when Uncle Snoop did that shit, fam. The third page of the Bible. And they was in the White House too. Are in the Bible, and he was right. So when I ran out of rolling papers, I turned bad, to the bad, bad. for some assistance. Besides, the Bible basically encourages you to get high. Moses talked to a burning bush. It's just a translation error to mm -hmm. smoke that good kush. So I read <laughs> my favorite section of the Bible, Leviticus 25, 44, 46. Your male and female slaves are to come from nations around you. From them, you may buy slaves. And I got my black homie together for a good smoke sesh. Pause! Nigga, you stupid. Hell no. Smoking ink is basically speed running your way to cancer. But inhaling ignorance and exhaling happiness was a great bonding experience for me and Jamal or Samuel or Malik. I, I don't know. They all look alike. Oh, you motherfucker. Number two, gravity bong. You ever wondered what it'd be like if your lungs collapsed? Well, then a gravity bong may be right for you. All you need is a lighter, a two liter bottle, a bucket, some water, and something to hold a herb in. Then it's real simple. You cut off the bottom of the two liter, stick it in water, burn a hole in the cap so you can place a bowl, and voila, you now have a time machine. Because believe me, you will not remember the next three hours. You see, normally you breathe smoke into your lungs, but a gravity bong forces smoke into your lungs. Think of it like partying with Lizzo. It sounds like fun until you wake up eating a banana from a cooter. One day you got here. Number three. <laughs> Oops. In college, the hardest part of smoking was finding a place to do it. Your options were either the woods or your dorm. And campus police were like boners in fifth grade. And they would just randomly show up. What the fuck? So the dorm was much safer, but everyone knows weed is quite smelly, especially if you get some dank stuff. The most basic way to mitigate this problem is by making a spoof. Real simple. All you need to do is take a toilet paper roll and put some dryer sheets at the end with a rubber band. That way your dorm smells like lavender breeze rather than pure skunk. Now, does spoofs work? Not really. It's basically like smoking weed in a laundromat. Number four, roaches. <laughs> and no, I'm not talking about Andrew Tate. I'm talking about the very end of a joiner blunt. You see, every breadcrumb of weed is valuable when you're poor. So I'd make sure to smoke every ounce of paper. And of course, I didn't have a roach clips and my whole yeah i ain't gonna lie i smoked a few roaches but that was after we were smoking like it, it just we was passing it and it got to the roach homies and i are just playing hot potato trying to take a puff before we burned our hands but the worst thing that we're all guilty of is tossing a roach then being so much of a crackhead that you pick it back up i just wanted one last thing <laughs> you tell yourself while smoking pure ash nowadays like fox news if i see even a little bit of darkness i get rid of it nigga Number five, hot knives. This may be the dumbest way to get high on this list. For those unfamiliar with this way of toking, all you need to do is take two knives and stick them in the coils of your stove. Then you wait for them to heat up and put your herb on it, allowing you to inhale melted steel while also destroying your silverware. Would it be more cost effective to just buy a $20 bowl? Of course, but you're not thinking logically when drugs are involved. It's the same reason your buddy didn't pull out. We're both just looking for a little dopamine rush. And on top of the dumbest, <laughs> this has to be the most dangerous. Like I'm looking to get lit, not burnt. Number six, hot boxing, which answers the question, why breathe when you can smoke. Anyone who's smoked the sticky icky has hot box before. Whether it's in your car, your closet, airport bathroom on 9-11. I've had so ah. many great conversations I'll never remember. But what I do remember is my friends trying to one-up each other by seeing how long they can hold in the hit. You ever play this game where you take a massive rip and try not to breathe? So dumb. There's no quicker way to add a chromosome than playing the not breathing pissing contest. Number seven, nasty edibles. Remember that time your friend tried to make edibles and didn't know what the f*** he was doing? Convinced you to throw down for half an ounce that he wasted by not cooking the butter long enough? Now you're eating charred plant matter with a hint of brownie, convincing yourself that you're high, while well, the only thing lit mm -hmm. is your oven? You see, it's mm -hmm. not like nowadays where some white woman in an All Lives Matter shirt teaches you simple cannibal 
butter recipes while occasionally <laughs> throwing in how all black people are criminals. The struggle was real for stoners back in the day. And it was even worse when the recipe worked and you OD'd by eating too many. Now you can't stop looking at your friend's cat that you're convinced is homophobic. Faggot. <laughs> So those are the <laughs> dumbest ways I used to get high. What are the stupidest ways you guys have gotten high? Please, let me know down in the comments. And just remember, it's not peer pressure, it's just your turn. Mm. Mm, you know what you want to do. Oh. It's not peer pressure, guys, it's just your turn. <laughs>